Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email or a message off one of my videos on how to make a 56 tooth gear. Well, that would be no different than any other gear. We'll just use math. I'm going to hit P and put both those objects in the center of the page. Then I'm going to select them all and hit T like in Tom, put it to the top of the page. I'm going to start moving and hold down the control button so I'm still in the center of the page. How I'm going to make a, a basic gear, I'm going to rotate this thing one to one point one inch and get a rounded top. But I want the I want it to be spread out a little bit, so I'm going to go symmetrical. I'm going to convert it to a curve. I'm going to get my shape tool. My nudge factor is set on a quarter of an inch. So by doing that, I'm going to left click that one and then right click that one. And now we're, I'm going to go a little bit further, make them a little bit more. So I right click, left click. Now it's a little bit big, probably for the gear. So we're going to holding down the, and that doesn't really matter. I just like being in the center. Now, I normally put it in indexing lines, but if we control D and make a duplicate, we ought to be able to hit the center and snap to the center, and it is. I'd always double check it. Now, how do you divide into 56 gears? Well, just type in 360 forward slash or divide by 56, and you get that. And then control D. A lot of times, Corel's going to do that. Uh, in this point, it doesn't really work to just add that number because that number is a lot spread out. So let's back up here with this center rotation. It didn't look like it was in the center and it's not. That's why I, a lot of the times I put in uh, 360 divided by 56 and then control D. See, it's not for some reason that's not working. But because it's not going to work if we just put plus... 6.429. It's not going to be exactly when we get around. Well, it is. It worked out that time. Maybe the digits aren't that bad. And then just take your whole thing and select it and hit the weld tool, and it's going to weld out those outside. And one way you can always figure out how many parts you have is to take that center circle, move it out of the way, and select everything. And right here, you've got 56 objects, so you're going to have 56 gears. This is pretty simple. Let the krill do the math. But there you have a gear or a sprocket with 56 teeth. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.